Hello and welcome to my review. Today's film, Taken. Dad! Oh my darling! Happy birthday. Dad, guess what? You know my friend Amanda? Yep. Her cousins asked us to spend vacation with them in Paris. I really, really want to go. You were supposed to call me when you left. There's someone here. What? Oh my god, they got Amanda. They got me. All right, listen to me. Go to the next bedroom. Under the bed. Tell me when you're there. <laughs> now, the next part is very important. They are going to take you. <laughs> The film is about a CIA former operative whose daughter is taken from her hotel suite when she goes away to Paris against her father's wishes. At the beginning of the film it's the girl's birthday and Brian buys her karaoke machine and it's a good gift considering she wants to be a singer and Lenore rips him for it. Bitch. And then her hobby, Stuart, begins comes out with a horse. A horse? And so, not a terrible way, she didn't exactly throw the thing on the floor, but, you know, Kim just popped the karaoke thing on the ground and then ran off to the horse, you know. It would have been really funny if Brian leaned into Lenore and said, Are you crazy? A horse? Seriously? I can't afford a horse. Day after the party, Kim asked uh, Brian's permission to go away on holiday with a friend and Brian's a bit iffy about it because she's only 17 and uh, she starts to cry yeah. and when he said he didn't want to, uh, his daughter to go away she called him pathetic gosh she ripped him like, she must have been insulted him digged him about 10 times in two scenes and uh, she called him pathetic so after emotionally blackmailing, Brian gives Kim his permission and she dorkily runs over to him. I don't know why, but she does it quite a few times in this film. She has this dorky kind of one there. It's alright, but it's about to end now it starts running. It's quite funny. But that Lenore was in. He kept on saying the world is a dangerous place. And it was what? So his daughter gets kidnapped and the uh, first place he goes to is his ex-wife, Lenore's. Uh, one of my only criticisms on the film is not something that was in the film, but was actually not in the film, because I'm, I'm evil. All I wanted to say was, I told you this would happen, it is all your fault. That's it. I just would have loved it if that was in the film. That would have been funny. I enjoyed most of the film. Uh, it's a really good uh, European action film, and I like those type of films. Films like Leon, this uh, and Transporter films. And most of them is because of Luke Besson, I don't know why he's with him. The fantastic writer, one of my favourites. Leon is just brilliant. And I'd love to write something that's even a smidgen as good as what he's written. Favourite scene in the film, well of course, is uh is when she gets taken, when you Liam Neeson gets on the phone with the guy, he's like, I will love for you, I will find you, and I will kill you. I just love the the way he sounds it says I saw nothing like it. I will. My name is Brian Mills. Brian Mills. Brian Mills. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. She comes in on the phone to her dad and she sees her friend getting taken by these guys. And she tells her dad and... Brian knows what exactly what to do. He gets a briefcase out, he starts looking for the his stuff, and he gets a tape recorder out, and he tells her what to do. He goes to the back room, goes, goes to the bedroom, hard on the bed. He actually tells her they're going to take... Oh, you've seen it. So. This guy obviously knows his stuff. This shit. Uh, Brian gets on the phone with a criminal who's taking her, and he's like... I will look for you. I will find you. I just love the way he shifts the pitch up on the second line. I will. Because you just know he's going to do it. 
Well, Liam does such a good job, I was wondering who else could actually play that scene. Hey, yo, let go. I'm standing here. Oh, no. They had my daughter. She's my hummingbird. Now put the bunny back in the box. What do you mean you ain't no bunny? You've got me in a vindictive mood. It's crazy. Listen to me. Let's go now or I'll kill you. Fuck you, asshole. Ooh, sure. Yeah, Liam Neeson was the best choice. And I'm the world's worst impressionist. My rating for the film is 4 out of 5 stars. Great, great story, great acting, well developed. Uh, it kept me interested throughout the whole of the film. Yeah, one criticism is uh, the amount of people that actually dies in the film is, is a bit over the top. So that might, might mark it down for a few people. But, uh, good. You know, it's just Liam Neeson just kicking the shit out of people and I didn't expect it. You know, because even at the beginning of the film when he's supposed to be taking care of the Hollywood Lance's character and this guy comes out with a knife, I didn't expect it. He's just like. <laughs> It wasn't like that, but you know, it did it. Still in this film is uh, Liam Neeson. No one else belonged with him in this film, and he just he ripped it up.